Choose riches, luxury, or wealth. Over the years, we have heard the stories of the most wretched individuals taking control of the world's stages in the beautiful game, and some of these names will certainly blow your mind. Here are some of the stars that came from poverty and bloomed to power. Zlatan Ibrahimovic The fierce and egoistic nature of Zlatan is one of his very famous attributes, and his footballing prowess has been felt across Europe and beyond. However, behind the bold line in him, Zlatan had a very poor and difficult start in his life. Born and raised in a dangerous housing area in Malmö, Sweden, Zlatan was one of the five children of his unhappily married parents. At the age of two, he witnessed his parents' divorce and was subject to an unstable upbringing. His father was an alcoholic, and his mother was constantly abused by him. From that cause, young Zlatan would steal most of the things that he needed and be left with nothing but his stellar footballing skills. He and his friends would play on a makeshift pitch, and that was where he developed most of his technical skills. Because of his questionable character and shaky background, a special teacher was employed to work with him. One afternoon, his teacher came to watch him play football, and he took a daring shot that hit her head. After that day, she quit, and Zlatan claimed that there was a lesson he learned that day. He believed that regardless of how he was treated by the world, with the football in his feet, he would be able to bend it to his will. And since then, that is what he has been doing. Fast forward to this century, Zlatan has continued to dominate Europe even at the age of 41. In his autobiography, he stated that, I wanted to stand up to the whole world and show everybody who doubted me who I really was. And I couldn't imagine anyone who would be able to stop me. With a net worth of 190 million, Zlatan is a respected figure all across the world. And he even has his name as a word in the Swedish dictionary. You will not see an honor bigger than that. Neymar Jr. The Samba Prince has engraved his name as one of the most entertaining stars to watch, but his backstory wasn't an easy one. Born in the poverty-stricken area of Mogi das Cruz in Sao Paulo, Brazil, anyone that knew the Santos family would have predicted he would end up being anything else than the most expensive player in the world. Before his birth, his parents couldn't even afford an ultrasound scan to know how the baby was doing. His father, Neymar Sr., was a failed footballer that had given up on his dreams to feature on the big stages. He began working up to three jobs to provide for his family. In 2017, Neymar's father described the place they lived in as, where the city threw their garbage, in an interview with The Mirror. Still, the financial situation of the family was so horrible, they moved around frequently looking for an abode, and one time had to dwell with their grandmother. They then moved to a single room, where Neymar Sr., Nadine, who was his wife, and young Neymar Jr. all stayed together in a single room. They slept on a single mattress and kept living their lives at the edge of the pit. They could barely pay their electrical bills, and most times relied on candles. Regardless of all the hardships, Neymar was still very good at what he did. From little indoor games to taking on older opponents on the pitch, he soon became pleasant to the eyes of the scouts. He was scouted by Bentino Dos Santos, signed his first contract at the age of 12, and went from the hustler to the hustled. Today, the name Neymar is one taken by many young people as a nickname that wishes to be like the star. He is one of the richest players and owns numerous luxurious items that his five-year-old self would have never imagined him owning. Lionel Messi the story of the little boy from Rosario is more than a fairy tale. Messi was born in Argentina, which was suffering from an economic crisis and an explosive recession. His father was a steel mill worker, and his mother worked as a part-time cleaner. Clearly, fending for Messi and his other three siblings wasn't a very easy job. Matters went from bad to worse. When Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone gland disease that cost about 600 euros per month to be treated, because of the small body structure caused by his health challenge, Oskaldon on his side, and he received an offer from Barcelona in 2000. The rest of the story is history, as he is debated as the greatest of all time in the sport. Messi has become one of the richest athletes on the planet, and surely a pride for the city of Rosario. Diego Maradona he might have had the hand of God, feet kissed by the heavens, and a lot of wealth in his name before his passing. But Diego Maradona of glorious memory wasn't born with a silver spoon. 
born in Villa Fiorito, a shanty town, and an area of wastelands and dirt roads, is considered one of the most dangerous in Buenos Aires. Villa Fiorito was not an ideal place to raise a child. With a serious lack of basic amenities like water and electricity, and a very high rate of criminalities, the good children there use football as a distraction. And that was an aspect Maradona was very good at. When asked about his financial situation as a child, he spoke about the cancerous nature of poverty, of which he was a victim. Poverty is bad. It's difficult. I knew it well. You want lots of things, but all you can do is dream about them. At an early age, he joined the labor force as he scavenged the streets for discarded cigarette tin foil to sell. He and his seven siblings shared a single room, and it was seriously lacking proper furnishing. They lacked sanitary equipment, which almost took his life. Maradona wasn't educated, nor did he have shoes, but his footballing lifted his feet from the hard knock life. He signed his first football contract at the age of 15 and moved to stardom at 21 after signing for Barcelona. Before his passing, he had a net worth of about 500,000 and enough assets for his next four generations. Cristiano Ronaldo from an almost aborted fetus to the richest, most popular, most influential, and debatedly the greatest footballer in the world, Ronaldo is the clear definition of rags to riches. Ronaldo was born in Madeira to a very poor family. His mother, Maria Dolores, almost aborted him before birth because there wasn't enough money to raise a third child. She was a cook, and her husband, Jose Denis Avedo, was a municipal gardener. Ronaldo grew up in a rather penniless Christian Catholic home, where he shared rooms with both his elder sisters. At the age of 14, he got expelled from school after throwing a chair at his teacher, whom he claimed had disrespected him. His father was very mad at him and had plans of having him join the workforce to assist the family. However, Dolores had faith in the child she didn't abort and told him to chase his footballing dreams. So, at age 12, he left for Lisbon to find his way. He joined Sporting Lisbon, but his smallish posture brought concern to his trainers. So, they ensured he was fed extra after training to have his body built properly. Now, Ronaldo was considered one of the most physically appealing players in the game. In 2003, he signed for Manchester United and requested the number 28, but he was given the number 7 shirt, which gave birth to his trademark CR7. CR7 has become the brand of many of his multi-billion labels across all industries. He is the most followed individual on Instagram, speaks over five languages, and has conquered feats in the game. I'm sure Dolores will thank herself every day that she decided not to abort Cristiano. That is the end of our video. If you feel we missed any stars, please let us know in the comment section below. See you next time, and be sure to subscribe to our channel.